Hello guys, so welcome sa last part ng ating module 14 about moving load. So, sample number 5, a truck and trailer combination crossing a 12 meter span has axle loads of 10, 20, and 30 kilonewtons separated respectively by distances of 3 meters and 5 meters. Compute the maximum moment and maximum shear develop in the span. Okay, so utilize lang din natin ay yung, yung solution na ginamit natin sa mga previous videos natin. Okay, so start tayo. So una na uh, i-drawing muna natin yung orientation ng span. So sabi yung beam daw is 12 meters. So let's say ito 'yun. So, 12 meters yan. So, therefore, yung center line is 6. So, the center line. So, 6 meters. 6 meters. Okay. So, i-ready lang natin siya. And then, analyze naman natin. Next is yung, uh, yung concentrated loads no, sa wheels natin. So, sinabi, 10, 20, 30 separated by 3 and 5 meters. So, parang ganito yan, class. So, dito is 10. And then, 20 and then 30. So, 3 and then 5. So, after na ito, na nang gagawin class? So, analyze muna natin itong loading. Kunin natin yung resultant sa yung location niya. So, let's say ito yung P1. 10. P2. 20. P3. 30. So, yung resultant load niyan is malapit siya dun sa mga malalaking loads. So, let's say parang andi dito siya. Okay, so we're in yung resultant is just yung summation ng tatlong load. So, 10 plus 20 plus 30. So, that is 60. Okay, ngayon kukunin natin itong location niya with respect dun sa wheel 3. Let's say distance x. So, para makuha yung class, di ba? Barig ng style, no? Or summation ng moment. So, let's say summation ng moment at, at point 3, no? Equal dun sa moment ng resultant. So that 10 times the moment arm is 8 plus 20 times the moment arm is 5 is equal sa moment ng resultant which is 60 and then x. Okay, solving for the value of x, ilan yan class? So x equals 3. Okay, and then after that, no, uh, kompletohin na natin yung mga distances ng lahat ng mga forces. So, this one is 3. So, kung 3 yan, ito is 2. So, this one is still 3. Okay, so ngayon gagawin natin, a-analyze natin uh, per wheel, no. So, let's say, uh, we want to determine the maximum moment under sa load P1. So, that is M1. So, for M1 max, ang una nating analysis. So, kunin natin yung pinakamalaking moment under sa load P1. So, para magawa yung class, so, therefore, ito yung uh, considered load natin, P1, at the same time, yung resultant na 60. So, in distance between them is 3 plus 2, 5. So, therefore, yung uh, midpoint between them is 2.5. Okay, so sabi, di ba, by ruling that yung midpoint must be located sa center line ng ating uh, beam. Okay, so 2.5. So therefore, 2.5 to the left, andi dito yung P1 na 10. So lagay ko 2.5. Okay, tapos saka ngayon natin i-draw yung lahat ng mga forces na. So 2.5. E 3 ito class, tama ba? So therefore, meron pang... 0.5 na natitira. So, therefore, for uh, 0.5 to the right, andito naman yung so, 0.5 na ang distance. 0.5. Nandito yung P1. 
2 na 20. Okay, and then, nasa P2 na ako, di ba? So, 2 to the right again, yun doon yung resultant. So, 60. So, ang distance na ito is uh, 2. Kaya nga, 2.5 and then 2.5. Okay, and then next is 3 meters to the right again. So, andi dyan yung P3 na 30. So, this one is 3. Ngayon, bago tayo mag-proceed sa ating calculation, let us check kung lahat ba ng loads is pasok pa dun sa span ng ating beam. Okay? To, to, to check that, edi, tingnan natin yung mga distances. No? So, this one is 0.5, 2, saka 3. So, that is 5.5. Tama ba? So, for total of 6, 5.5, pasok pa nga siya. So, may matitira pa dito. 0.5. Okay? Dito, 2.5. So, 6. So, 6 minus 2.5. So, this one is 3.5. Okay, so therefore class, na-verify na natin that yung all wheels is pasok sa span. So, ready na tayo magkuha ng reaction. So, bago tayo kumuha ng reaction class, diba dito may reaction A. So, let's, let's say ito yung point A. R A dito, point B. So, merong R B. So, ang kukunin kasi natin is yung moment under sa load P1. So, therefore, later on, ikakat natin siya. Okay. Tapos magkoconsider tayo na nang i-analyze natin is either yung left or yung right. So, para mas madali, dito tayo sa left section. Okay. So, kung left section, therefore RA yung kailangan natin. So, solving for RA, paano yan class? So, we take summation of moment at point B is equal to zero. Considering clockwise moments positive. Okay. So, clockwise. So, that is RA times yung moment arm is 12, and then minus, yung resultant na lang, imbis na yung tatlong uh, concentrated loads yung imo-moment ko, so yung resultant na lang nila, which is yung 60, and then yung moment arm na ito, with, with respect sa B is 3.5. Okay, equals 0. So therefore, RA now equals... So, that is 17.5. Then, yung unit is kilonewton. So, anyways, may RA na ako. So, cut na natin siya. Consider natin yung uh, left side. So, ito yung itsura nun. So, pwede class nun na hindi ka na mag-cut na mag Pero ako, pinapakita ko lang na para mapalabas yung internal moment. Pero, actually, Pwede gawin mo. Mag-moment ka na lang dito. All forces sa left. So, moment mo lang. No, para mabilis ka. Pero ako kakat ka, no? So, dito merong uh, 17.5. So, actually, class, di ba dito may lalabas na shear? Okay. Tapos, actually, nandiyan nandi pa ngayon load na P1. Di ba? Tapos, andi dito yung moment. Which is ito nga yung moment 1. Tama ba? Pero sa mga previous videos ko, hindi ko na pinapakita to. Kasi nga, ang ginagawa lang naman natin is dito lang din tayo nag-moment, diba? So, yung lahat ng forces na nandi dito sa point na to, which is eto yan. So, yung P1 andyan dyan, tapos itong B, yung shear andyan dyan. No, wala silang moment arm, so hindi rin sila part ng analysis. So, sa mga previous videos ko, hindi ko na pinapakita to. Okay, anyways, let's say ito is tuwagin nating point 1. So, ang distance na ito is 3.5. Okay, moment tayo dito. So, we take summation of moment at point 1 is equal to 0. So, considering clockwise moments, positive. So, ito clockwise. So, that is 17.5 times 3.5. And then, ito, yung counter sa minus M1 is equal now sa 0. So, we now solve for M1, which we know na yung M1 na yan, yan na yung M1 maximum. So, how much yun, class? So, sagot is 61.25. The unit is kilonewton. 
meters. Okay, but ito, hindi pa ito yung final answer. So, we now take into consideration naman yung P2, yung load uh, sa wheel 2 naman. Okay, so pag ito ang kinonsider natin, yung P2 and then yung resultant. So, makukuha naman nating maximum moment is yung M2 max. Okay, so mag-solve tayo. Kunin natin yung uh, maximum possible moment under sa load P2. So, for that case, drawing ulit natin siya. So, mahalaga din na drawing din yung center line. So, 6 and then 6 and then ito yung center line. Okay, so sabi natin, we locate the midpoint between that load and the resultant load doon sa center line. So, kung distance is 2, therefore midpoint is 1 meter. So, therefore, uh, 1 meter to the left, and dito yung P2. And then... 1 meter to the right, ando naman yung resultant. Okay, and then next is i-draw na natin yung ibang load. So, 3 meters to the right, ando dito yung P3. And then, 3 meters to the left of P2. So, ando naman yung P1. Okay, and then after that, we now verify kung uh, pasok pa ba lahat ng wheels doon sa span ng ating beam. So, kung 6 ito, 1 ito, 3 ito, so 4, 6, and then therefore ito is 2. So, 3, 1, 4, still uh, 2 ulit ito. So, therefore, pasok ulit ng wheels. So, therefore, tama yung resultant natin na 60. And then, okay. So, pwede na tayo mag-analyze. So, so, merong RA. Then, merong RB. So, ang gagawin natin, kukunin natin yung moment under dun sa load. P2, ba Yung M2. So, for that case, so, ikakat natin siya later on and then consider tayo is it the left side or the right side. So, since pares, halos pares lang naman. So, dun ako sa left side. No? Dalawang force yung mag-moment. So, we now need to solve for the uh, reaction at A. So, for that case, so we take summation of moment at B is equal to 0 considering clockwise moments positive. So, RA times the moment arm is 12 and then minus, so in, in, imbis na ulit yung tatlo, itong resultant na nga lang ulit, which is dahil pasok yung tatlong loads, so total pa rin to na 60. Okay? So, 60 pa rin yan. So, 60... And then times moment arm is 5 equals 0. So therefore, RA now equals 25 uh, kilonewtons. Okay? So pag may RA na, so uh, consider na natin tong cutting section natin yung left side. So, ito yung RA na 25. Okay, ang distance niya dito. Dito is 2 plus 3. So, 5 yan. So, sa taas may P1. Dito may P1 na equal sa 10. And then, yung distance niya with respect dun sa cutting section is 3. So, dito may lalabas na shear. May lalabas na moment. So, positive direction yung mga pinapakita ko. And then, nandi dito rin yung uh, P2. Pero, sabi ko nga, yung mga loadings na nandun dun sa cutting section, hindi naman sila magiging part ng analysis since wala silang moment na makikreate at that point. So, let's say, tawagin natin tong M2 since ito is 0.2. Okay, so we now take summation of moment at 0.2 is equal to 0 considering clockwise moments positive. So, clockwise 25 by 5. Ito, counter. So, that is yung P1, which is 10. The moment arm is 3. And then, minus, counterclockwise yung M2 now equals sa 0. So, we now 
we can now solve for the M2 which corresponds dun sa maximum possible value ng M2. So, ilan yan class? So, sagot is 95 kilonewton meters. Okay? And then lastly, no, consider naman natin class yung uh, largest load which is yung P3. Now, what if uh, we solve for the moment under dun sa load P3 which is M3? So, ano yung maximum possible value ng M3? So, P3 and then yung resultant load 3 meters. So, we locate yung midpoint nila which is 1.5 meters doon sa center line ng ating uh, beam. Okay, so therefore, dito na lang. So, for M3 max. So, ito yung ating beam. Center line. 6 and then 6. Okay, so 1.5 yung midpoint nila, no? So, therefore, 1.5 to the right and dito yung p3 1.5 to the left and dito yung resultant load and then 2 to the left and then yung uh, p3 a uh, p2 so 2 and then 3 to the left again so and dito naman yung uh, P1. Okay? So, sa drawing ko class, pinasok ko muna ng lahat ng loads, no? Kasi, yan naman talaga yung uh, first na tinitingin natin, no? una nakapasok, and then, chinecheck na lang natin kung logical na nakapasok nga lahat ng loads, no? Okay, now, paano machi-check yun? So, we're given that yung kalahati ng span is 6 lang. So, 6 lang din to. So, dito ka, sure tayo papasok yan, 1.5 ito. So, therefore, 6 minus 1.5, ilan yan class? So, mayroon dito remaining na 4.5. Okay. How about dito sa uh, left half nung beam natin? So, kung 6 ito, ito is magiging 3. Ito is 2. Ito is 1.5. So, pag may nag plus 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 ko yan. So, 3. Okay. Plus 2 plus 1.5. So, kumain siya ng distance na 6.5. Okay. Which, ibig sabihin, lagpas siya dun sa 6. Okay, lalabas dito yung distance na to is negative 0 0.5 dito. Okay, ano lang ibig sabihin ng class? Nakapag pinilit natin, ilocate yung midpoint between dun sa resultant load and then yung P3 dun sa center line. Yung isang load is nasa labas na pala siya. Okay, so i-drawing natin ng tama. No? So, parang ganito siya. So, andi dito yung P3. And then, andito yung resultant. So, ito yung P2 natin. And then, somewhere here, andi dito yung P1. Okay, gets ba yan? So, anyways, lagi ko lang yung mga values, no? So, kanina kung, kung, kung sa kalil lang pumasok lahat ng loads, therefore, ang mga values nito is 10, 20, 30, 30, and then yung resultant is 60. Tama ba? Yun ay kung pasok yung lahat ng loads. Kaso class, ito pala yung actual condition. Ganyan siya. So, yung isang load is outside dun sa span. So, therefore, ilang loads lang nasa loob class? E di yung 20 lang, saka yung... 30. Tama ba? So, therefore, yung dating resultant load na 60, since hindi naman na to part ng uh, analysis, diba? Since outside siya sa span, so parang wala lang, wala lang siya. So, therefore, yung resultant, hindi na siya 60. No? Hindi na siya 60. Okay, hindi na siya 60. At the same time, hindi na rin siya dyan located na ang distance nito, device ano? 
uh, 1.5, 1.5 and then 2. Na hindi na siya dyan located. So, ang gagawin natin, i-re-resolve ulit natin yung resultant using yung dalawang loads na lang. Since alam natin na yung load P1 or yung wheel 1 is hindi na siya makaka-apekto dun sa beam natin. So, i-re-resolve natin yung resultant pati yung location niya. Okay, so to do that, so drawing ulit natin siya. So, ang tinitingnan na lang natin yung dalawang wheels, no? Yung P2 saka yung P3. Okay, ito 30 to 20. So, yung resultant is somewhere here. Which is equal na ngayon dun sa dalawa na lang. So, 20 plus 30. So, 50 na lang ito, no? So, we know that yung distance initially nung wheel 2 saka wheel 3 is 5. So, i-relocate -re natin yung R with respect sa P3. So, distance X ulit. So, susolve natin no, yung actual location niya kapag dalawa na lang yung ina-analyze na wheels. So, we take summation of uh, moment at P3 or by baric nons, no, that moment of components is equal sa moment ng uh, total force. So, so moment at P3, dito tayo moment. So, P2, which is 20, moment arm is 5. Dapat equal yun sa moment ng resultant, which is 50. Distance is X. So, ilan nga yun yung X distance? That is 2. Okay. So, previously, ilan yung X? 3. Kasi tatlong loads yan. So, dito, nung nabawasan na yung loads na ina-analyze, 2 na lang siya. Okay. So, Ito is magiging 2. So, therefore, dito is 3. So, after that, i re na natin itong uh, beam, no? Using yung 2 loads alone. So, re natin. Okay. So, locate yung center line. So, 6 and then 6. So, dahil 2 na lang ito, therefore, yung midpoint niyan is 1 meter away na lang, no? So, therefore, 1 meter na lang ito. Uh, to the right, and dito yung P3. And then, 1 meter to the left. And dito yung resultant na equal na ngayon sa 50. So, 1. And then, 3 meters to the left, andun yung P2. P2. Okay, tapos verify lang natin na nasa labas talaga yung ano, yung P1. So we know that yung P1 is uh, 3 meters to the left ng P2, di ba? Nasa 3 meters talaga siya. So maglalagay ako ng 3 meters dito, andi dito yung P1, no? So 3 3 1 so 7, no? So that is greater than 6. So anyways, ito nang i-consider natin yung loads na nandi dito. So that, kunin natin yung mga remaining unknowns uh, na distances. So 3, 1, so uh, 4, so 6, ito is 2. So ito is 1, so 6, this one is 5. Now, kunin na natin yung mga uh, reaction. So RB and then RA. Okay, and then ang kukunin natin, di ba, yung moment under dun sa load. 3, sa wheel 3. So, therefore, later on, ikakat natin siya and then mag-consider tayo is it in left side or yung right side. So, dito naman, class, mas madaling uh, i-analyze yung right side. So, kukunin natin itong RB. So, therefore, mag-take tayo ng summation of moment at A now equals 0 considering clockwise moments positive. So, moment tayo dito. So, itong resultant, pag moment siya, so, 50 and then yung moment arm niya is uh, 5. And then itong RB minus RB, the moment arm is 12. So equal 0. So therefore, ilan yung corresponding RB? So that is uh, 20.8333. 
kilonewtons. So, pag may RB na ako, consider ko na itong cutting section natin sa right side. Makuha na natin yung moment doon sa uh, under ng load P3. Okay? So, Okay, consider natin yung cutting section, no? So, ito yun. So, tingnan natin. Sa cutting section natin, meron tayong RB, RB upward, which is 5 meters dun sa point. Kasi wala na ibang forces, no? So, andito dito yung RB, which is nasolve na natin to. Na 20.8333. So, distance is 5. And then, sa cutting point, so, lalabas yung positive shear. So, paano yung positive shear class? Pag ganyan, diba? Tapos, pag ganito yung moment. Anyway, yung shear nga ulit is uh, wala ulit siya magiging moment dun sa pagmamomenta natin which is itong point na to. So, this one is yung M3. Tapos, hindi dito yung load P3. No? Hindi ko na sila papakita. So, now, uh, we take summation of moment. So, let's say ito yung is point 0.3. Napangalanan natin siya 0.3. So, we take summation of moment at 0.3 equal na sa 0 considering clockwise moments uh, positive. Okay. So, ito clockwise yung M3, yung internal moment. And then, ito counterclockwise yung RB na 20.8333. The moment arm is 5 equals so 0. So, therefore, ilan ang M3, which now corresponds dun sa maximum possible value ng M3. So, ilan yan class? So, that is 104.17 kilonewton meters. Okay, so nangyari na kahit dalawa lang silang loads na nakapatong, Nung isipin mo yung sasakyan class umaandar. Nung yung sasakyan umaandar. Na dalawa pa lang yung gulong na nakapatong. Pero nakapag-create siya ng malaking moment. Which is, pag kinumper ko dito sa iba, no, kahit nakapasok yung lahat ng gulong, or kahit dito, nakapasok lahat ng gulong, pero mas malilate yung mga nakikreate nilang moment. Okay, ayun o. So, therefore, ang magiging maximum moment natin, is yung uh, largest dun sa tatlong value. So, that is yung 104.17 kilonewton meter. Okay? Which happens kapag ang sasakyan natin is nandi dito sa ganitong orientation. Okay? And then, finally, we now solve for the uh, maximum shear develop in the span. So, para makuha natin yung maximum shear, so, consider natin ulit itong tatlong loadings. So, saan ba mas malapit yung resultant? Dito ba sa left or sa right? So, dito 5 siya, 5 meters away. So, dito 3 meters away. So, therefore, mas malapit siya sa right, ba? So, kung papatakbuhin ko to class sa ating beam, so, saan siya, sa, diba ang, ang ruling sa shear is kung, siya, kung saan pinakamalapit yung resultant na support yung support na yun, yun yung magkikerry ng uh, pinakamalaking reaction, where in that case yung reaction na yun corresponds dun sa maximum shear. Okay? So, mas malapit siya sa right. So, therefore, dito ko siya lalagay, no? Dito siya pinakamalapit sa support kapag andi dito siya. So, drawing natin yun. So, for Vmax, so, ito yung span natin. So, ang gagawin natin, ilapit natin yung resultant load doon sa support. So, dito mangyayari yun. So, nandito dito yung P3. Ito yung resultant load. Nandito dito yung P2. Nandito dito yung P1. Okay? Ibig sabihin, kapag yung gulong ko is nandito dito na siya, no palabas na siya dun sa sa beam natin diyan na siya magkikreate ng maximum shear 
So, let's say in distance neto is 3, distance neto is 2, distance neto is 3 again. So, overall is 12. So, 3 plus 2 plus 3, that is 8. So, 12 minus 8 is 4 yung matitira dito. Okay, tapos may mga reaction, RA, RB. Okay, ang goal natin is kunin na itong RB since ito yung nearest reaction dun sa resultant load. So, yung kung anong value nito, yun na yung maximum shear, ba? So, para masolve yung RB, we take summation of moment at A is equal to 0 considering clockwise moments, positive. So, moment tayo dito. So, yung R, yung resultant load, which is dahil pasok pa yung tatlong loads, so therefore, yung resultant is 60 pa rin yan, ba? So, therefore, 60. The moment arm nito is what? 4 plus 3, 7 plus 2, 9. And then, minus yung RB, the moment arm is 12. Okay? So, we now solve for the RB, which corresponds sa ating maximum shear. So, ilan yan plus? So, that is 45 kilo newtons. Okay? So, check natin class kung tama yung mga nakuha natin final answer. So, M max is equal to 104.17 and maximum shear is 45 kilo newton. So, correct. Okay, so hanggang dyan na lang siguro class ang discussion natin regarding moving loads. So, sa next video natin, magpo-proceed na tayo sa bagong topic class which is about flexural stresses. Okay, so hanggang dyan na lang tayo class. So, thank you guys for watching and God bless.